puppy. Send me some hearts in the chat so I know that you can see me and hear me perfectly now. You can also send some thumbs up. Um, in the meantime, let's look at the chats. Um, we have Sephora Deptford is saying that we all love HD, which I absolutely love. We're seeing the hearts coming through. You can all hear me. Carrie, thank you so much. I'm sure you look beautiful as well. I appreciate you. Giselle is saying much better. Okay, great. Well, thank gosh we didn't even start applying any makeup yet, so we didn't miss anything. Um, Giselle and Potomac, you can hear me and see me. That is amazing. Okay, we are going to get back into our amazing product that we are all here for, which, as I mentioned, is the Makeup Forever HD Skin Matte Velvet Powder Foundation, the perfect multitasker for any skin type, skin tone, and skin texture. So just to brief you again on what I have on, I have on the Makeup Forever Step 1 Primer in Redness Corrector to neutralize my unwanted redness. Then I went in with the Makeup Forever HD Skin Liquid Foundation, and I'm wearing shade 1R12. If you need to find your perfect shade, check out the shade finder that we have on MakeupForever.com, and it will help guide you to find your perfect shade in your liquid foundation. You can also use a shade finder to find your perfect shade in your HD Skin Matte Velvet Powder Foundation Compact. So I am also using shade 1R12 in the powder. And I'm gonna show you the way I like to use this product. Since I already have my makeup on and I really just use it for touch-ups, you can see that I get a little bit shiny right in that T-zone area. We're seeing some hearts coming through for my nose oils, I appreciate that. So what I like to do is with the sponge applicator that the powder comes with, there's a side that says Makeup Forever on it, and if you flip it over, there's a blank side. I'm gonna actually use the blank side. It feels a little bit velvety and texture and really, really nice. So it applies the perfect amount of product. To make sure that I'm not overusing this product because I do have a full face of makeup on, I'm gonna actually take my sponge, swipe down on my product to not pick up too much, and I'm really just gonna kind of do like a press and roll in the areas that I wanna control that shine. So you can see it applies the perfect amount of product, melts right into my skin, of course blurs, because we love a good blur, and takes away that unwanted shine without disrupting any of that makeup underneath. Now if you missed it, don't worry, we'll do the other side so you can catch it. So again, swiping down on my product so I'm not picking up too much and doing a really light press and roll in that area around my nose where my pores are a little bit larger and where I do get a little bit excessive shine. I see a lot of hearts coming through, so you must be just as excited about this product as I am. Rosalind's saying it's pretty. Chrissy is saying blurring. Jack is saying slay, Randy. Raptor said, great job, coming back fast. You know what, I'm a makeup artist, I don't work in IT, but sometimes you just gotta shake the Wi-Fi to really get it working. So now that we've seen how you can use the HD Skin on top of a liquid foundation, I'm gonna call one of my friends over who's also a part of the Makeup Forever Pro Collective, and he's gonna show you how he likes to use this powder. Come on over, Jay. How are you doing today? Hi, Randy. I'm doing good. I'm so excited to be here with you today. We're so excited to have you. Now, Jay, why don't you tell us a little bit about your skin? And we know that you're also a pro artist and a part of the Makeup Forever Pro Collective. And tell us a little bit about your skin and maybe some concerns you've had before. So for the most part, I tend to be a little bit on the normal side, but especially during the winter months, my skin definitely gets a little bit more dry. So I like to use more hydrating products to really combat that so I could get that natural finish to my skin. We love that. So natural finish, staying nice and hydrated. So why don't you show us some of the products that are your must-haves for making HD Skin Matte Velvet Powder Foundation work for you? So I'm gonna show you guys three products today that are gonna make this super easy and super smooth. I am first going to start out with the Makeup Forever Hydro Booster Primer. It is super lightweight. It has a beautiful peach texture that's gonna brighten the skin. It's going to even out the skin tone and give a nice radiance. This is also going to give 24 hours worth of hydration. So for someone like me who tends to be a little bit more dry, it's really, really, really smoothing. I love that technique. We have a question from Isabel asking if this can be used without liquid foundation. You are about to find out, Isabel. 
100%, even on days where you don't wanna do any coverage or anything like that, this will just give some brightness to the skin, some radiance, and of course, that beautiful shot of hydration. Yes, I think you would need to get a little bit closer so everyone can see how nice and hydrated your skin looks just from that little bit of Hydro Booster. Yeah, that glow is undeniable. Shirley is saying she loves us. Hi, Shirley, we love you too. Now I'm going to be going in with the HD Skin Matte Velvet Powder Foundation in 2N22. And I'm going to be using the sponge that is provided in the powder. I'm gonna be using the side that has the logo because that's gonna give me a little bit more coverage so I don't have to work as hard. Just like Randy, I'm gonna be swiping my sponge down in the product because I don't want to overload the sponge. And I'm gonna be starting in the center of the face and really sweeping towards the outer. Even with one swipe, you can already see that any areas that were a little pink, anything like that, it totally diminished those pink areas as well as smooth out my pores. Jay, I think we need a lot more hearts in the chat to be able to watch you blend this out because that was the ultimate blur, but also the ultimate coverage just from one swipe. We need to one see a swipe. lot more hearts, yes. Also, because this powder is so smoothing, even though I am dry, it does adhere right onto my skin. So it does not sit on top of the skin. It doesn't grab to any dry areas. As you can see, it is literally one with the skin. Amazing. Mega is saying, wow. Raptor says, I'm in for it. Candace is saying, wow, that's coverage. And Lexi is asking if there is talc in this formulation. That is a great question. So absolutely no talc, which is great for us dry friends because it's gonna be super smoothing, not drying, extremely blurring. So no talc here, no texture. Can we get some hearts in the chat for how much we're loving this formula on Jay, who has a drier skin. And just as a reminder, he just has primer underneath. He's wearing this not on top of a liquid foundation at all. Jay, this looks absolutely amazing. We need you to get way closer so everybody can really see. Guys, this is my skin in a compact. And all I did was apply with our sponge. Super easy, gives you that instant full coverage. Now, because again, I am a little bit more dry, I like to look a little more glowy, I am going to add one more step, and that is going to be our new Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. This is gonna set your makeup for 24 hours, and it's gonna give you that really beautiful, healthy glow that's gonna make this powder look even more natural on your skin. Also, to point out, we have a brand new, beautiful mist. She's ultra fine, luxurious, and super refreshing. I just feel like I was just in a commercial with you in that very moment watching you use a setting spray. I felt like I was in one, honestly. <laughs> As you can see, this also just gives that more skin-like finish right away. Um, the powder would naturally do that if I just wore it on my own, um, but I like to really give the skin that natural doing this right away. So Mist and Fix is the way to give you that right away. And can you share with everybody, just in case we missed it when we had to reconnect and disconnect, I believe there is a gift with purchase today. There absolutely is. So with any purchase of the new HD Skin Matte Velvet Powder Foundation, you are going to be receiving this super cute makeup pouch. It's got compartments in it, great for travel, fits all your makeup. And you're also going to get this fish eye lens attachment for your phone. So you get some super cool shots of your makeup. All you have to do is use code HD Live, and that's gonna be live on our website until 312. Thank you so much, Jay. Can we get more hearts in the chat for Jay for using this powder just on top of primer on his dry skin? That's it, guys. You need it, must have it. Must have, absolutely. Thank you so much, Jay. Thank you. Stay, stay around, because I'm gonna call you back up here later. I'll see you guys soon. Amazing. Next up, I'm gonna call my friend Renee to come on over. So Renee and I have been talking a little bit about her skin type and what some of her concerns are, right Renee? Yes. Okay, tell me a little bit about your skin. So I have combo skin. I tend to get a little drier over here and oily in my T-zone and really see my texture on my cheeks when I put on my makeup. Okay, so you notice a little bit of texture in the cheeks kind of like normal combination skin, that typical T-zone shine. Now I know you mentioned for you, one of the challenges you've had before is finding that balance of keeping glow where you need it and controlling shine where you don't want it. 
So we're gonna do that for you today. Are you ready? Yes. Amazing. So the first step we're gonna do in Renee's complexion routine is the Makeup Forever Step One Primer and Pore Minimizer. Since she mentioned she has a little bit of texture around the nose area, I'm gonna use a pea size amount on the back of my hand and I'm actually gonna pick it up with my fingers. I'm gonna kind of blend it in a little bit because you don't have to overuse this product. This is not the type of product where the more you use, the better it works. A little bit goes a long way. And we're gonna do more of a pressing motion and get it right into those areas of concern for you. Now, since we've pressed it in, Renee, I'm gonna ask you to get a little bit closer to the camera and show everybody one side compared to the other. How does that feel on your skin? Satin. Feels very satiny, very and fresh. I already see a huge difference. Great. And now we're gonna go in and we'll do this on the other side. Pressing it in with my fingers. Again, not overusing the product. Any other areas of concern for you? Or just mostly in that area? Mostly, I get shiny. Okay, yeah. which we'll, we'll address that in a moment. <laughs> So since Renee really likes a little bit more glow to her skin, we're actually going to be using the Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation, which is more than a skin tint because it has beautiful skincare ingredients. So it's going to definitely give you that hydration. It also is going to help with radiance and just overall evenness on the skin. This is going to be perfect for somebody who likes that like sheer to medium, or as I like to call it, medium coverage. So you can definitely build it a little bit, but you're not gonna get much more than a medium coverage. Since you like low, we're gonna use uh, about one pump, and I'm gonna apply it with the Makeup Forever 109 brush. This brush is a little bit more dense and thick, so it gives you a little bit more of that coverage while literally melting the product right into the skin. And the way I like to apply it is taking the shade, the Reboot shade, right to the brush, using about one pump. And for Renee, we're gonna use shade Y365. Again, if you wanna find your shade in Reboot, make sure you check out our shade finder on MakeupForever.com. Turn towards me just a little bit, perfect. And we're gonna start right in the center of the face. And you can even see in that one swipe, get a little bit closer for me. It is the perfect shade for Renee. And we're gonna just blend this out, stretching this product in a downward motion. And the reason we stretch it in that downward motion is it really helps to apply this product nice and even. Since Renee mentioned that she has a little bit of texture on her skin, by pushing up or doing more of that buffing motion, we might aggravate some of that texture. So by stretching that product in a downward motion, it allows for the product to go on really nice and even. And we'll do the same on the other side. Turn that way just a little bit for me. And stretching this product in that downward motion. Now this is a great technique for any age. It really is just gonna lay the product on nice and smooth. And again, Renee is more of that normal combination skin type. So this is definitely a really great product that works for her skin type, skin tone, and skin texture because she likes a little bit more glow. What I love about our complexion products is the versatility of them. So you can really customize your complexion routine based off of the needs that you have, plus pairing it with the perfect primers. So even though I'm oily, I like something that is a little bit more of a natural finish than something that's super matte. So I go in with the HD Skin since it gives me that natural finish. Jay is dry and he likes to wear powder foundation, but he had to make sure first that he prepped his skin. So skin prep is always going to be crucial into what you're putting it on. But again, the products that we're using today are so versatile that you can really find your perfect match, even just based off of your skin type. So we can see that it even neutralized that redness right around the nose area. Can we get some hearts in the chat for this glowy, beautiful complexion that Renee is serving us right now? And we'll just get right a little bit in the forehead. That brush feels amazing. How does a brush feel? I don't it's, think everyone heard you. The brush feels amazing. What feels amazing? <laughs> I know, it's just soft and fluffy. Soft and fluffy. Yeah. So even though it is a little bit of a bigger, more dense brush, it's going to apply the product really nice and even. And what I love about it is when we're thinking about how much time we have in the morning to get ready, 
the bigger the brush, the quicker you're gonna get to the end result. So a brush like this is gonna apply the product really nice and even without taking a ton of time. So in those mornings when we're trying to rush out of the door, we don't have to worry about taking a long time blending out our complexion. You can easily do it with a perfect brush like the Makeup Forever 109. So now get a little bit closer so everybody can see how glowy and gorgeous the skin is. We see a lot of hearts coming through. We're loving some Reboot. And it's a perfect product, especially for somebody like Renee this time of year who has that normal combo skin because it's very easy to control that shine. Sometimes it's a little bit harder to combat and make that drier skin feel more comfortable. So the Reboot is perfect for that normal combination skin, even somebody who's on the drier side. So we're gonna control the shine where you have it. I know you mentioned the T-zone is a little bit of a concern for you. So we're gonna use shade 3Y40 in the HD Skin Matte Velvet Powder, and we're gonna apply it a little bit differently than I applied on myself and Jay applied on him. So for this, we're gonna be using the Makeup Forever 160 brush, which is an absolute must have, especially if you like to apply your powder with a brush. It has that perfect dome shape, so it gets in all the nooks and crannies really nice and evenly. And to make sure that we're not overusing or using too much product, we're gonna swipe down on our powder, loading up our bristles, and then we're gonna do more of a press and roll technique, just right in that T-zone. How does that feel going on? Lightweight? Yeah. Skin-like? Yes. It doesn't All right. feel like I'm wearing anything. It doesn't even feel like there's no. anything on. We love to hear that. We want <laughs> people to say, oh my God, your skin looks amazing. Not what foundation do you have on? So we'll have you get closer again and we'll do a little side by side so you can see where the powder is versus on the other side. So again, the powder just gave an additional bit of blur to the skin and helped control some of that unwanted shine in the T-zone. But get a little bit closer again for me one more time. You can still see there's a beautiful radiance everywhere else on the skin because we know my girl likes to glow. So are you glowing where you wanna yes. glow? And are you controlled in the shine where you wanna control the shine? Yes. Amazing, mm -hmm. we see a lot of hearts coming through. Raptor is saying it looks amazing. Isabel says, very natural, I love it. We're seeing that they're loving this combo. Rosalind is, says, you're glowing. So we'll swipe down again to pick up a little bit of product and we'll do the same on the other side. Just doing that really light press and roll in that T-zone area to control that shine. Renee, how are we feeling? Did we give you the complexion you of your dreams? You did. Amazing. Well, everybody else skin. is very excited mm -hmm. about it as well. Looks and feels just like skin. Yes. So we have one more friend that we're gonna call up. Thank you so much, Thank Renee. You. We have one more friend and one more complexion routine that we wanna share with you today. So today I have my friend, Astu, who's here with us. Hi. Hi, Astu, how are you today? I'm good, how are you? I'm great now that you're here with me. We are very excited to have you here. Why don't you tell everybody what you told me a little bit earlier? What are some of your concerns with your skin? So I'm definitely really oily and that is my number one concern. Okay, sure. so oiliness is usually something you struggle with. Yeah. Okay, and what kind of coverage do you typically like? I am a full coverage matte girly. Not gonna lie. Yes. We love that. Okay, so Astu is not afraid to wear a full complexion routine. So that is what we are gonna give you today. Mm -hmm. We've already prepped her skin with a little bit of the Hydra Booster, the same one that Jay used, just to give her skin that perfect drink of water because we know that even somebody who's super oily might need a little bit of hydration. Um, there are a lot of love coming from you, mentioning how gorgeous you are, how stunning you are. So you're getting a lot of love in the chat. So give it back, us too. I love you all. So we've already prepped her so you can see she does have that beautiful glow to her skin. So now we're gonna create the complexion of your dreams. Were there any challenges you've had when picking out complexion products in the past? Um, the only problem I've really had with complexion products is just finding a really good shade match. Finding a good shade match, okay. Mm -hmm. So you like something that kind of blends in. Yes. You don't necessarily, under the eye, I think you mentioned you like to go a little bit brighter mm -hmm. under the eye, but everywhere else you like it to be a perfect match. Yes, for sure. Amazing. So since you like full coverage, since you like a matte finish, 
We're gonna go in with the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Liquid Foundation. This is an absolute must have if you like full coverage. This can be worn even by the driest of them all. It's a really creamy full coverage formula that does dry down to a matte finish, but still feels very comfortable on the skin. It's gonna bend and flex with the movement of the face, so even somebody who's really dry can wear this and feel comfortable. It is also 24 hour wear and waterproof. So when we're thinking all day wear, this is an absolute must have. So I'm gonna, again, take out my favorite foundation brush, which is the 109. Again, it's that bigger, more dense brush. But because we're working with a fuller coverage product, I'm gonna use a little bit less product than I did with my Reboot. And I'll show you how much I like to use. So I like to put about this much product for both sides of the face. And the shade that we're gonna use on a stew is shade Y505. If you wanna find your perfect match in this formula, make sure you head over to our website, makeupforever.com, and use our shade finder to find your perfect match. So we are going to do, turn towards me just a little bit. We're gonna do a swipe on one side and a swipe on the other, and just blend this product out. I know you said you like full coverage, mm -hmm. and so we definitely want to build that up. When I'm working with a fuller coverage product, I definitely still like to use the downward motion to really blend that product in. So you can see, get a little bit closer and do one side to the other. You can see how this wow. product literally melts right into the skin, but doesn't look like a full heavy coverage. I love it. Chrissy's saying, wow, a great shade match. We agree. Amazing shade match. And this is a buildable product because it's a full coverage product. I don't like to start off with a ton of product because you are still going to get great coverage even if you use the smallest amount of this product. And just really blending it right into the skin. How does it feel going onto your skin? It's still? super light, like the formula is moussey. I love it. Ooh, I think moussey is a good word to describe it. It's very velvety and mousse-like yeah. texture. Again, we'll hit you right over here in the forehead area and blend that up towards the hairline. And just right down and around the nose. All right, we're gonna have you the true test. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have you get closer again so everybody can see. So this is just so far our matte velvet wow. liquid foundation. We're getting a real wow from you, with Sue. I love it. You're loving so it, we're good. happy. So happy, the shade match is beyond. You right. can't even tell. We're seeing a lot of hearts coming through. Rosalyn is saying absolutely stunning. Abby is saying gorgeous girl. Thanks, Abby. So now since you mentioned you like to be a little bit brighter under the eye area, mm -hmm. we're gonna go in with the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Concealer in shade 5.1. Okay. Um, because this is also a full coverage product, we're not going to overuse this product. We see a lot of trends happening on social media, but we're going to use a minimal amount of product and get that full, full coverage. So before I apply this, I also just want to give a shout out to our friends on TikTok and Facebook. We appreciate you viewing and being here with us today and seeing all of the makeup transformations happening with our amazing complexion products. Thank you all so much for joining us. Send some hearts in the chat. It gets us really excited on the side of the camera. So because this product has that extra large doe foot applicator, I'm not going to overuse this product. And I'm gonna work right off of the tip of the product. So I'm gonna have you look all the way up for me. And for a stew, I'm just gonna do about two dots right in that inner corner, and same on the other side. We'll have you get a little bit closer so everybody could see that placement of the product. And now I'm gonna blend it out with the Makeup Forever 144 brush. I absolutely can't emphasize enough, if you do not own at least five of these, <laughs> you're missing out. This brush is an absolute must have. It's great for concealer. It's great for highlight. You can use it for eyeshadows. You can even, even snuggle up with it if you get a little bit cold at night and it keeps you nice and warm. That's so cute? romantic. I know, I'm very romantic. Thank you, Sue. But we're not gonna snuggle up with it. We're gonna actually use it to blend out Sue's concealer today. 
So we're gonna start in the inner corner where we placed our product and that's really where we wanna maintain the coverage. So instead of doing a back and forth motion, we're really just gonna stretch this product out towards the outer corner of the eye, which is going to keep the coverage where we need it and we continue to pick up our brush to blend this product out instead of doing that back and forth motion, which sometimes can make the product too blurred and you, you lose that coverage where you really need it. So we'll have you get a little bit closer again so everybody could see once this product is blended out. Chrissy is saying, I love that you can get so much coverage with such a little product. These products have amazing performance and that is why Makeup Forever has created their Pro Collective to really give that feedback and put these products to the torture and to the test to make sure that they're gonna do what they say they're gonna do. So when we say products are going to give you the coverage, we really do mean it and it doesn't mean that you have to use a ton of product to get to that end result. Now let's blend out your other side again, starting in that inner corner, stretching this product out, I may have put a little bit more on that side than the other, so we'll just add some to this side to even it out. But this is definitely that perfect concealer. Again, it's got that 24 hour full coverage wear. It is also waterproof. And so if you like to wear a full coverage matte concealer and you have a drier skin, my suggestion would be just don't put powder or heavy powder on top of it to set it. This is a great concealer for any skin type that likes full coverage and a matte finish because, because of its creamy texture, it's gonna blend airbrush into any skin tone. Go ahead and take a closer look so we can really see how that concealer looks on you. Again, Estu is wearing shade 5.1 just to really brighten under that eye area. Love it. Now I know you mentioned that you really like to keep your skin a little bit more on the matte side. Yes. So I notice again, we've got a little bit of that glow happening to your skin. So we are going to combat that glow with none other than the Makeup Forever HD Skin Matte Velvet Powder Foundation. And the shade that we're gonna use on you is shade 4Y60. Since you like a little bit more coverage and really mm -hmm. like to keep it matte, I'm gonna use a smaller brush to apply it on you than I did on Renee. This is the Makeup Forever 156 brush, also an absolute must have. You can use this for powder, you can use it for bronzer, for sculpt, you can even use it for highlight and blush as well. It's an absolute must have. And since we're not afraid of adding a little bit of coverage, on everybody else we swipe down on our product to not pick up too much. But since you like a little bit more coverage, we're actually gonna push right into the product and really load up our bristles. For this, we're gonna do a little bit more of a tapping motion to keep our placement really controlled in that specific area that you like to add a little bit of coverage, but also really like to mattify your skin. Go ahead and get a little bit closer so everybody can see one side to the other. Wow. What we love, or what Jay actually really loves to say, is this powder is perfect for creating that matte, not flat finish. So it's definitely gonna control that shine and mattify the skin without making it look dry or dehydrated. How does it feel going on? It feels like you weren't putting anything on my face. It feels like nothing. We're just doing magic over here. So we'll do the same on the other side. Again, using more of a tapping motion to press this in. And don't forget, if you're making your purchase today for this powder, make sure you use the code HDLIVE so that you can receive your free gift, which is this beautiful makeup tote, which has compartments in, great for traveling or just on the go, as well as our fun little fish lens hook that you can put on your phone to create a bigger space if you're taking pictures or even videos. How are we feeling about this complexion? I feel really good, it looks so pretty. All right, we're gonna have you get closer one more time. And I just feel like I wanna add a little bit of dimension back to your skin now that we've created this beautiful, flawless complexion. And how are you on the shade? Because I know you mentioned earlier that shade is sometimes a bit of a challenge for you finding the right shade. I love it, it's a perfect match. It's a perfect match, we love that. 
So we're gonna go in and actually sculpt with our deepest shade in the powder, which is shade 4N75. So this is the HD Skin Matte Velvet Powder Foundation in 4N75. And we're gonna use this since you have amazing cheekbones and I know you like a very even complexion. We're gonna go in and give you a little bit of sculpt on the cheek. So again, I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever 156 brush, pushing into my product to really load up my bristles. I'll have you turn slightly for me. Sorry. It's okay. So starting really close to the ear and just sweeping that product forward. Can you get a little bit closer so everyone can see? Amazing. Let's add a little bit more. And before I blend that out, we'll have you get a little bit closer one more time. So it creates that beautiful natural sculpt and a really pretty lift to the cheek. To even that out or blend that in, we're just gonna do a nice figure eight motion using this 156 brush to really blend it into the skin. Wow. How are we feeling now that you've got your, your sculpt on? I love it. It, feel did, good? it did bring out the cheekbones. It did, I mean, you were right. those cheekbones are cheeking. And we'll do the same on the other side, again, starting really close to the ear, stretching this product forward Again, instead of doing that back and forth motion, so I'm not losing my intensity, sweeping that product forward and then using that big figure eight motion just to really hug it and lift the cheek. Wow. All right, we're getting a lot of hearts here for you, Estu. Everyone's loving. I wonder, yeah. I wonder what everyone's favorite complexion routine is gonna be. Why don't you type in the chat and let us know, do you like the powder for more of a touch up? Do you like the powder to wear alone? Do you like the powder on top of a tinted moisturizer? Or do you like the powder on top of a full coverage? Type in the chat and let us know what your favorite is so far. While you're typing that in, we're just gonna recap what we've done on a stew skin. So of course, we hydrated her with the step one primer in Hydra Booster. You can always use our primer finder on makeupforever.com to find your perfect primer or even combination of primers. Next, we evened out her skin with the Matte Velvet Liquid Foundation in shade Y505. This is going to be matte, 24 hour waterproof wear. We brightened under the eye with a little bit of the Matte Velvet Concealer in shade 5.1, also 24 hour wear and waterproof. Then we set just in the T-zone area where you get a little bit of shine with the HD Skin Matte Velvet Powder in shade 4Y60 also 24 hour wear and waterproof. And then of course we had to give you a little bit of sculpt. So we went in with the deepest shade, which is 4N75 to create a really beautiful sculpt on your cheek. How are you feeling? I feel really good. Is it cool if I set my face? Absolutely, get okay. into it. I'm I forgot. trying to go out. Oh, a stew is going out right after this. So she's gonna use a little mist wow. and fix just to lock it in for that all night wear. Is this a new mister? It is a new mister, mm. so it is very fine, so it disperses the product wow. really nice and evenly. I love it. Can we get some hearts in the chat? Rosalind's saying, I cannot wait to get that powder. Amazing, I'm hearing all these clicking. Do you hear everybody clicking this product into their basket? I do. They must I be excited it. about their yeah. free gift too. Thank you so much, Estu, for joining us Thank today. You. I'm just gonna call my other friends back over so we can just give a quick recap of their complexion routine as well. Thank you, Estu. So next up, I'm gonna call my friend Renee back over and we're just gonna give a quick recap on what we used on her complexion and what her complexion concerns were. Come on over, Renee. Yeah. So one of the things you mentioned was that you had a little bit of texture, you like glow, and you like to control the shine where you don't want it. So on Renee, we used the Pore Minimizer and Step 1 Primer just in this area to smooth out any texture that she may have. Next, we went in with the Reboot, which is our version of a skin tint. It is perfect. It gives that sheer to medium, or as I like to call it, medium coverage. And it gives that really natural, glowy finish to the skin. And it feels like nothing. And it feels like nothing, mm -hmm. which we love. <laughs> Very lightweight, easy to use. We also applied it with the Makeup Forever 109 brush so that it literally melts right into the skin. And then since you like to control the shine in certain areas, we went in with the HD Skin Matte Velvet Powder in shade 3Y40 with the Makeup Forever 160 brush and did more of that press and roll technique 
to give a little bit of that blur, also control the shine where you don't want it. Go ahead and get a little bit closer so everybody can see your complexion one more time. How are you feeling about your complexion? Great, it feels great. It feels like I'm wearing nothing and I see like none of my texture, which is usually a huge concern for me. We love that. We love, we love a good blur here at Makeup mm -hmm. Forever. And then I'm also going to call my friend Jay up. Thank you so much, Renee. And Jay is just gonna remind us of the products that he used. Hi guys, so just to recap that I started prepping my complexion with the Makeup Forever Hydro Booster Primer, which again, is gonna give you 24 hours worth of hydration. It's going to give you a nice bright complexion and a beautiful radiance. Then I went in with the HD Skin Matte Velvet Powder Foundation in shade 2N22 and I used the sponge that has the logo side for that little bit of a fuller coverage. Don't forget the other side is a little bit softer, blank to give you more sheer application. And then to finish off, of course, with Mist and Fix to add a little bit of hydration and also give a beautiful glowy finish to make the powder look even more natural. Well, Raptor is saying that we all look great. Thank you, Raptor, we appreciate you. And just to give a quick recap of what I had on, again, I did this off camera, but I do use the Makeup Forever Step 1 Primer and Redness Corrector just to neutralize some of that redness I have. I have on the Makeup Forever HD Skin Liquid Foundation in shade 1R12. It was on for about eight hours or so before we got here. And I just used the Makeup Forever HD Skin Matte Velvet Powder Foundation in shade 1R12 as well to just give that little bit of touch up in that area where I get some of that uncontrollable shine around the nose. We are so excited that you are here with us for this entire journey with all these different skin types, skin tone, and skin textures while we played with different com combinations of complexion routines. Send some hearts in the chat. Let us know which is going to be your favorite complexion routine. And we are so grateful that you joined us today. I think Jay has one more special reminder announcement. Don't forget that with every single purchase of the HD Skin Matte Velvet Powder Foundation and the code HD Live, you are gonna get this super cute makeup pouch as well as this fish eye lens camera attachment for your phone. So click those powders and click those codes. And if you missed any of this live stream, don't worry, you can rewatch it on makeupforever.com so you can get all of our tips and tricks and stay tuned to see what we have cooking up in our live streams in the next couple of months. We'll see you soon. Take care, guys. Thanks for tuning in.